Hi there. I'm uh, just sat looking out over my garden. The sun is shining and I am completely on my own, apart from the dog who's chewing on a bone. And I've been on my own since Wednesday. So today is Monday. So my husband has come home every night, uh, but really late, like midnight, most nights. He's working on a really, really big project. And it's been interesting to have so much time to myself because it's reminding me of all those years, and I'm like talking like eight years, of living on my own as a single mum. Uh, sometimes I had chickens, I was known as the chicken lady at one point, uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, chickens was the only pet I had at the time. Um, I was on my own completely and really, really ready to call in my guy, particularly the last sort of two or three years of that. And I, I love my own space, thank God, right? Like I really love my own space. I'm actually quite an introvert, so I'm very happy in my own company. Um, and I'm like right now I'm missing my husband and it's our wedding anniversary tomorrow and we're really praying, 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 praying that he can work from home tomorrow so we can go and have a nice lunch together. And uh, uh, as much as I love my own company, as much as I need my, my time to myself, uh, as much as I've been craving it lately because of lockdown, uh, kids homeschooling, that kind of thing, like, you know, I haven't had as much time to myself as usual. The last few days of not having James around has really taken me back in time to all of those years where I was single and single parenting, as I said, and spending so much time alone. And while I'm really good at it and able to fill the time really easily and sometimes filling the time is just you know doing nothing, not doing a lot at all, maybe watching a bit of Netflix, going for a walk, taking it easy. Um, and running my business, you know, like uh, I can fill time easily. I'm an entrepreneur. I run a business. I can, you know, there's no set days of my working week. I can choose to work any time, any hour, uh, which suits me really well. And it can feel lonely. You know, I've got friends. I've got, you know, we've got children, but it can still feel really lonely. And I felt a little bit lonely the last couple of days. And, uh, and, and yet, you know, I, I'm married and in a relationship, <laughs> I feel very lucky, but I just, I guess I'm just, I'm tuning in, I suppose, to my clients, my, the single women that I'm working with and just having this time on my own at the moment and experiencing some loneliness and remembering all those years of feeling that way and feeling so so ready to not do life on my own because that's the thing like the last in fact he, James has been working really hard the last couple of weeks so I've really just been managing everything managing the household managing you know just basics like the shopping and the cooking and the tidying and the managing picking up dropping off kids like I've been doing that all on my own the last couple of weeks and and you know <laughs> hashtag first world problems and it's not even a problem I'm just noticing that I've been doing a lot on my own and I used to do it on my own all the time and I used to crave so badly just having someone else just to share it with me like someone else to do the shopping someone else to fix something when it needs fixing or to make that decision or I don't know to kind of go sort out paying that bill or you know you know like just managing life and uh, yeah, the last couple of weeks, I felt quite on my own with it, albeit James is brilliant and, you know, always saying to me, I wish you weren't doing it on your own right now. So I have that support in the background, but I remember only too well the desire to just share my life with somebody. And, and I, you know, I'm in touch with some of my single clients at the minute and they have this deep desire as well. And, and I guess I'm just, I just want to, empathize with you right now if you're a single woman um, looking to call in your guy and you're ready and you don't want to do life on your own and you're just sort of fed up with doing everything on your own and handling everything like I know you can I know you're good at it I know you love your business I know you love your kids like I know you love your time to yourself and you're ready right you're ready to call him in and I you know I really really get that I remember it very well 
and I'm just having a lot of empathy for you right now and I invite you to lean on my faith that it is possible for you, he is looking for you too and uh, your only work is to prepare yourself for him to come in, that's it, that's it and uh, from my heart to yours, if you're feeling a little bit alone and feeling like you're doing it on your own right now, I'm sending you my love, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there, <laughs> I was there for years, I get it and uh, if your desire is true, if you really do want to be with somebody, uh, yeah, I believe that our desires are meant for us. So that desire is meant for you. And as you can open to receiving and allowing that in, it will happen for you. Okay, so hold the faith and lean on my faith if you need to. Sending you lots of love. Bye.